636 here, Big 550 KTRS. A lot of uh, video, a lot of audio, a lot of tweets, a lot of social media coming out uh, last night. And uh, I keep going back to Dave, uh, 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 Gabe Crocker's comments that they have a hard time determining who the peaceful protesters are between the bad guys. They also have a hard time determining who the media is and who the protesters are and who the looky loos are because every. Everyone with a cell phone is a member of the media now. Isn't it the truth? I know. So what, what we've done is we've played the audio of uh, Andre Anderson, who is the police chief of Ferguson, newly minted from Glendale, Arizona, came up just a few weeks ago um, to uh, take over the Ferguson Police Department. Last night he was in the middle of an interview where shots rang out. Now, Frank, you found some audio. What is this audio? This is audio of all those shots ringing out. So this is just, this is unedited? Yeah, I've not edited, I've not taken out pauses or anything. There's no foul language in there. You hear some some background screaming as people are running away from the uh, gunfire. Um Okay. This is from a uh, from a from a, from Russia today. They had a camera trained on one of the strip malls there, and in the the video, Heather has the the, the video as well, and, and and you'll see as people start ducking and getting to the ground as all these shots run out and cars start speeding away. All right, so here is unedited audio, and for those watching on TV, video. And and just for for the listeners out there, if you can focus here for this next fifty seconds and start counting along, so this is you can hear these shots. It's it's forty eight seconds long, but you can hear how quickly these shots come. So when Gabe Crocker says there was a rain of gunfire, when Chief Balmer says there was a, a extraordinary amount of uh, of gunfire, very this, accurate. This is what they are referring to. Here's fifty seconds of audio and video from last night. Fifty seconds of audio, Frank. How many gunshots were there? Oh, at least forty. I mean, just counting along there, minimum of forty. It's un. It's unimaginable. It's, it really is. It, 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 it really. It's there's no there's no words to describe. And we we have monitors here in the studio. We're watching all the monitors. We're watching the national attention back on Ferguson. You can't even begin to explain this to somebody outside of the region. You, right. you can't, you cannot explain this. Uh, I'm going to be on Newsmax TV a little bit later on. I'm sure Fox is going to call me for something to, you know, make some talking head comment or something. I, 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 how do you even begin to explain this? When I, you know, I've, I've covered a lot of news over the years, and we've done standoffs with police and things like that. You might hear a shot or two, maybe, maybe three or four. Nothing, nothing ever like that. That's a war zone. That is a war zone. And that is in uh, Ferguson last, last night. night. Just last night? Uh, last night. And those are, well, those are bad guys interspersed with the peaceful protesters, I guess. Um, and for, it was, for no other reason than to shoot at people. And it was interesting because you had the peaceful protest all day long. Then you had some protesters blocking the street last night, and then things started to dissipate. People were di dispersing. The rain came. You had some of the break-ins. Mm, right. The rain left, and that's then right. suddenly you had, um, for lack of a, a, a better term, agitators out there who were uh, watching it on – we were obviously watching it on Fox 2 last night. They were within two or two or three feet of that line of, of, of police officers yelling at them and, and, right. and shaking their, their, well, their fists at them and everything else, and it was more – it it escalated very very quickly. Well, and and then you have this this you know uh, wha how how dare you wear riot gear? 
I, I love this. I, never I, got I, that. I, I love this because now you have a, a police officer now who was hit in the face with a brick. And obviously, and, and clearly, had he had that right gear on, he probably right. would be a little safer. Right. And we'd right. all be happier. Right. So we don't want police officers wearing riot gear. They can't protect themselves. In, right? in, is the message. In that rain of gunfire, how dare the police officers wear mm-hmm. some type of protective gear? Uh, it is just uh, how you, you can be a you police know, officer today right, is, is unimaginable. Because cops are bad and crime is good. That's that's what it is today. Seven, Sad. F- 742, traffic, weather, sports, straight ahead, KTRY.